7.41 and we're on our way to the airport. Yay! My <laughs> okay. Before we get on this flight, I got this very expensive sandwich. This is the con of LaGuardia Airport. And my dear, dear, dear best friend has to have. <laughs> Apple chips and a matcha latte for breakfast. Are you mad right now? Because I will be pissed. Yeah. guac and chips and veggies because they are not contaminated with gluten. Aww. <laughs> Our food has came. Mushroom tacos or champiñones, vegano baja, Our amazing guac. What you got? What you got? Carne asada. Uh, the champignon, the mushroom, and then the one with the pineapple, the pastor. Al pastor. Yeah. Is what she wants to say. Yeah. But bon appetit. Now it was much needed because we were like lacking like so much sleep. So now we're gonna head off to Laurel Hardware in West Hollywood, and we're so excited. It's gonna be so much fun, right? Right. After coming from Beverly Hills. Yeah, we had such a blast in Beverly Hills, and it was great. So now we're gonna enjoy the nightlife in Los Angeles, and we're out. So we're gonna, oh, and then we ordered truffle fries and 
she ordered a gluten free chicken color rice. Yeah, and then I ordered a chopped hill salad. And so. the chicken color is fried with like potato flour. Alright, we received the truffle fries. <laughs> and her cutlet. Wow, that looks really good. Yes. I'm gonna wait for the five stars for Aurora Square. <laughs> and finally, my here um i'm still well we're both still getting a little like adjusted to the time difference and everything but um we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go grab an early breakfast today we're gonna hike the hollywood hills which is very exciting very touristy um and is one of the things one of the highlights for me for this trip i've always wanted to visit the hollywood sign so as you guys can see my throat is a little sore from last night, it was incredible in downtown LA, the nightlife. It was, it surpassed my expectations for sure, but now my throat is definitely feeling it. But anyway, um, I will say like everything out here in California seems almost back to normal for the most part. Like I, I don't really see like much of a difference. It almost feels like the experience like pre-COVID, which is great but definitely recommend that you guys go. Um, we went to, it's called the Reserve, and we also did the, the club crawl, which helped us like go to different types of clubs and everything, and yeah, the nightlife was definitely fantastic, and now today on this beautiful Sunday, Hollywood Hills, catch you guys there. and they will not come get us so we're wow. gonna have a review on Expedia yeah we're gonna definitely <laughs> review on Expedia yeah so guys not recommended for just sure walk, walk the Hollywood so we're just gonna walk it and hike it ourselves and enjoy it just so no need it, no, since we have to hike it ourselves I'm just gonna show you guys 
our own little tour of this. So, enjoy the view, guys. Life update. So we ended up catching up to our group. So we I will not give my own tour because I don't know this place. <laughs> so yeah. Sugarfish, my favorite sushi place here in LA. We're gonna have that for lunch and yeah. So story time. So we're back at a hotel from the Hollywood Hills and hiking. And let me tell you guys, like that whole experience was crazy. It was long. I'm exhausted. I got like the even worse tan, I think, or close as bad to the tan that I got in Mexico. The sun is crazy out here. Like LA sun is no joke. Here. And like, like I gotta say, I'm so tired but we still have santa monica pier to explore malibu we're gonna go to koreatown today and this really cute restaurant out in hollywood is like oh my god like i forgot like my sd card actually so i've been filming you know on my phone which is crazy because i was like oh my god like i wanted to film with my camera but when i was on that hike i was like thankful i did not have my camera I didn't even want to carry my water bottle, like legit. It was crazy. I was sweaty, hot, whatever. I'm just so glad to be changed in my clothing and get all dolled up to go out. So yeah, definitely come prepared if you do hike the Hollywood Hills. Come prepared with very comfortable sneakers. Like, 
from the moment that we got there we literally had to run because the tour like at first the tour people left us we got there a little late because la traffic any myth you've heard it's real like traffic is crazy out here but yeah so once we were on the hike and then we caught on with them it was a lot of running around running around and yeah it's just it's crazy i'm excited to get something to eat so let's do this starbucks break match our drinks with our outfits i realized that green green pink pink to breakfast it's gonna be such an exciting day because we're doing Santa Monica Malibu <laughs> Finishing our frosé and we are like so lit. Are we not? I want to go to so Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, or West Hollywood, which is like two thousand dollars a month. Which one? Well, he she searched up the amount of how much does it cost to rent here. I mean, tell me we haven't hit an all-time low. In the polls, comments. Where should I move to, Noah? Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're off to Malibu. Okay. So guys, I just paid eight dollars for this. I will never do this in New York.
here in Malibu and it's so beautiful. I will say um, it's smaller, it's like way smaller like the beach area than uh, Santa Monica. I feel like Santa Monica Beach was like way bigger. Nonetheless, it's still very pretty. Um, I know Veronica loves it. She loves, this was her like fucking dreams come true. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. But anyway, it was like really pretty. Um, in terms of eating, we're gonna eat at Malibu Farm, and I'm glad that. So basically, story time. So we wanted to eat at Nobu Malibu. I had called. The wait time was insane. The wait time was literally like 45 minutes. I waited to get on hold for someone on the phone, and then once I got on the phone with someone, a representative told me you basically had. They basically had no reservations until July 30, and I had called the end of June. So they didn't have no reservations, so we couldn't eat there since we're not going to be there obviously on that date. So instead we're going to eat at Malibu Farm. It was very pretty, I'm going to show you guys. So I think it was a good option, it was closer to the beach access, so it worked out in the end. So if you guys are looking to eat at Nobu Malibu, lesson learned, you better like prepare that like a month in advance to two months in advance. day what are we gonna do we're gonna pour some almond milk and coffee yes i got coffee so wow gratifying <laughs>